Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonsalves with Go Analytics, and today we're talking about Power BI licensing. So let's go. Welcome to our channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on all of our data visualization and data analysis videos. All right, Power BI number one data visualization tool and it's not surprising since its general release in 2015 the tool has been growing in popularity and helping organizations create and cultivate a data culture due to its easy to use interface interactive reports and dashboards and all of its collaboration capabilities it's easy to get excited with power bi but this excitement can be quickly dampened by the web of licensing nuances that you have to go through to get started. In this video, I will demystify the Power BI licensing monster so that you can proceed with clarity on your Power BI journey. In terms of Power BI licensing options, you have five options, each with their own features and pricing. There is the Power BI Pro license, there's the Power BI Premium Per User License and the Power BI Premium Capacity, all which you can see in the pricing webpage of Microsoft Power BI. But then there's two additional licenses that you can also use, one being the free license and the second one being the report server. So let's take a look at each of these licenses. The most basic Power BI license is the free version. Yes, you heard that right, free. And to top that off, once you sign up for the free version, Microsoft will gift you a 60-day trial to the pro version. So what do you get with the purely free license? While the free license is very limiting in its collaboration capabilities, it is an awesome sandbox to start learning how to work with Power BI Desktop and start sharpening up your design skills, creating your first interactive dashboards. With the free license, Microsoft makes available all the data modeling and transformation capabilities in the Power BI desktop, including access to all the data connectors and visualizations, the ability to reshape and transform your raw data, create a data model, and create calculated measures and columns. You'll also have the ability to publish your reports to the Power BI service, Power BI's online platform, to be consumed on the web. However, you will not be able to share your reports with your colleagues as you are limited to only publishing in your My Workspace, which does not allow for sharing of reports with the free license. Another key limitation of the free license is that you cannot export your Power BI reports. While the Pro and the Premium licenses allow you to export to such formats as PDF, PowerPoint, CSV, and Excel, you will not have that ability with the free license. Next up on the totem pole is the Power BI Pro license, which will cost you $9.99 US dollars per user per month. With the Power BI Pro license, you'll have all of the same features that's available in the free license, plus additional ones, such as being able to share your reports with your colleagues or with the world. Another nice feature of the Power BI Pro license is that you can access your reports and dashboards on the go via the mobile application. The Power BI Pro license also offers you the ability to refresh your reports automatically on a rate of eight refreshes per day. In terms of model size, the Power BI Pro license can handle data models up to one gigabyte in size, and your total storage for each user is 10 gigabytes. In most organizations, data models do not exceed 10 gigabytes per report, so you should be okay there but if you're working with really big data sets, you might take that into consideration to upgrade to the premium version. To collaborate on reports or give a user viewer permission, both the Power BI report creator and the Power BI viewer will need a Power BI Pro license. This is not the case with the Power BI premium capacity license. Next up from the Power BI Pro license is the Power BI premium per user license. This license was created to give some of those uh, more advanced features that were available in the premium capacity on a per user basis. Currently, the Power BI premium per user license will cost you 
20 US dollars per user per month. So what do you get with the additional $10 on top of the Power BI Pro license? Essentially, larger data models, additional storage space, and advanced AI functionalities. With the Power BI Premium Per User license, you bump your maximum model size to 100 gigabytes, and you now have 100 terabytes of storage space to be shared across all your Power BI users. Additionally, the Power BI Premium Per User license raises your data refresh rates from eight per day, as it is in the Power BI Pro license, to 48 per day. A limitation of this license is that you still need a per user license. So when you're collaborating on reports, both the report creator and the report viewers will need a license. This is not the case with the Power BI Premium Capacity license. The Premium Capacity license is your top of the line license and the most likely candidate for large enterprise deployments. This license starts at 4,995 US dollars per month and is charged at a capacity level, so not on a per user basis. The premium capacity license has all the capabilities of the premium per user license with additional increases on the maximum data model sizes to 400 gigabytes, while the overall storage is still 100 terabytes per capacity and refreshes are still capped at 48 per day. With the premium capacity license, report viewers will not need a Power BI license, although report creators will still need a Power BI Pro license or a Power BI Premium Per User license. Going the Power BI Premium Capacity route also enables you to opt in for the report server, which is an on-premises reporting server for businesses with extremely strict data security and governance policies. So which license is right for you? It all comes down to the old, well, it depends. Choosing the right Power BI license requires careful consideration of where your data strategy is currently and where it's likely headed over the next year. Here are three questions to ask yourself to determine which Power BI license is for you. One, how much data will my organization be consuming inside of Power BI? Two, how many reports and dashboards does my organization expect to be publishing over the next year? And three, how often do my reports need to be refreshed, whether that's daily, monthly, weekly? All of those questions are key considerations. Cost is obviously very important as well. And with some very quick math, we can determine that if you are going to be licensing more than 500 people, then the premium capacity might be a better license for you. Similarly, if you're looking for more premium features like AI capabilities and you want to license more than 250 people, your likely best bet is going to be the premium capacity. And just one final note about Power BI licensing. If you're running Microsoft 365, you might want to check which license of Microsoft 365 you have, because if you have the Microsoft 365 E5 license, you already have Power BI Pro. So that's our video on Power BI licensing. I hope that navigating through all of these licenses and all of their features and costs helped you and that you're going to have more clarity going forward and that you can proceed in your Power BI journey with confidence. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, be sure to subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next video.